Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I put out a video, but here I am. I hope you guys had a great holiday season and you came into the new year with high expectations, new plans, new direction, new mindset, everything. So first video of 2018, um, this one I really kind of felt pulled to do, um, I felt called to do mainly because it resonates with me so much. Um, I started this channel because I really wanted to be able to um, speak about different topics and you know really connect with the YouTube community and with everyone else in the world who watches YouTube as much as I do. Um, you know just people who need help, need advice, just want people to talk to and want to connect with others but aren't really willing and able to go outside and do it but you know really look to YouTube because a lot of people actually do go to YouTube and um, help others through YouTube which is a great thing. Um, I'm not really trying to do that on a um, psychological aspect but I do want to get on here and just talk about different things and how you can improve your mindset, how you can just improve yourself, be a better person, you know, talk about things going on around the world. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my About Me video that is um, in my video section. That was the very first video that I did and I mentioned the different things that I want to talk about. Like, I will talk about any and everything. I am someone who just loves to talk about stuff regardless of like anybody who's seen me in person I do come off as like very quiet and to myself but once you warm up to me I'm telling you I do not stop talking like especially if I'm comfortable with you to the highest degree I will just talk about any and everything especially something going on around the world or you know something that's on the news or like a controversial situation like I will just go on and on so that's kind of why I want to use YouTube as a platform for that um, because why not you know I'm in the comfort of my own home I get to reach out to beautiful people and just really connect in that way and that's kind of why I started my channel but after a while I did put out some videos that really resonated with me and helped me in my journey and I kind of felt like is anybody listening? Is anybody really watching? Like, I know I've had a couple of people, um, you know, watch my videos and give comments and send me messages and things like that, but I guess I was looking for more, you know? I was like, oh, is it, you know, this is only one person, okay. You know, is anybody really watching my video? Am I really helping anybody? You know, I want to be able to help to the highest degree to really feel that connection and for a while I wasn't really feeling it so I was putting out videos but it wasn't as often as I should have been and I kind of fell off for a little while coming into the new year but um, now that we are in the new year I kind of been pulled to make a video again you know to really get back out there and believe in myself and just know that if I'm gonna do something I'm gonna do it from the bottom of my heart and you know to really help others and I shouldn't worry about whether or not it's reaching thousands and millions of people I should just worry about you know the one or two people who actually are watching who really are benefiting off of the things that I say the things that I mentioned the things that I've gone through so I had to really you know come into myself and say okay you know I shouldn't be looking at you know the big aspect and trying to just go from zero to a hundred in a day I really need to just take my time and you know it's a process there's levels to this people there's levels okay um, so I really had to tell myself that and I figured you know what I'm being called to put out another video I'm being called to try again it is something I enjoy doing especially when people message me especially when people you know, say, hey, I saw your YouTube video. I could just be walking on campus somewhere. Hey, I saw you on YouTube. I saw you had a YouTube channel. And I'm like, oh, wow, you know, people, wow, yeah, you know, I'm reaching out to a couple people, all right. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it, it's, it feels good when it happens. I just kind of, I guess I got 
I don't want to say I got greedy, but I kind of want it to happen more often. And I got to simmer down a little bit and let things just, you know, build up and get to that point and kind of do it because I really resonate with it and I really enjoy doing it. And I really, really do, you know, and I, I don't know how big my, my YouTube community is. I think I have like 22 subscribers and I have an average of like, what is it? 18 views on my videos which is completely fine with me i have humbled myself and i am getting back out there and i am putting out another video in 2019 we back at it let's do this so with all that being said um the video that i have felt pushed and called to do is something that is dear to my heart because it is something that i have struggled with Lately, um, not even really lately, my whole life actually, let me not lie, my whole life, um, is just believing in, believing in yourself. And although I am very driven, I am very, like if there's something that I want to do and I put my mind to it, I will get out there and I will do it. And I will literally map out every which way that I need to go to make it happen. Like that's me. But there are times where I don't believe that I can do something, you know, um, especially if it's something that's way out of my comfort zone, something that I've never really done in my life. I won't necessarily believe in myself. And that's something that I really had to learn through 2018, coming into 2019. Um, it was a real smack in the face. Um, and it was God telling me, you know what? I'm tired of you. <laughs> I'm tired of you having all these big dreams and these big goals and praying to me about it and you don't even believe in yourself. I can't help you if you don't believe in yourself. So I really had to let that sink, you know, let that really sink in. Um, he really can't help me if I don't believe in myself because any efforts that he does put into my life me not believing in myself, I'm not going to see it. You know, I'm not going to recognize it. I'm not going to take it as a blessing or as, you know, him pushing me to move forward. So that's why I really wanted to get on here and just tell my story and to just let other people know how you can believe in yourself and why it is so important to believe in yourself. And this is something that, I'm sorry, y'all. My nose runs every time I get on here. Anytime I'm not on here, I'm fine. But the minute I get on here, runs. So my apologies. Bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Okay, so, yeah, he, he meaning my God, um, he really told me to get on here and make a video about believing in yourself because there are other people who need to hear it. There are other people who you don't even know are watching this and they don't believe in themselves. So... Let's go, you know, it's time to teach others. So here I am, let's get into it. Okay, so believing in yourself. Um, the biggest thing about believing in yourself is positive thinking. Um, you have a thought in your mind of something that you wanna do, a great idea, something that will change the lives of many people, something that will be completely different on a new scale you know whatever the thought or idea is it came into your mind for a reason you thought about it for a reason and you thought about it because you in some ways see and believe that you can do it now the only thing that you have to do now is really manifest it into your reality so really make it happen in the world that you live in don't let it just sit in your mind um so really be positive and I know like for someone like me I have really really big goals and I'm like I don't know where to start do I do this first or do I do this first oh my god this is huge okay and then I'll just let it sit there and time will pass and nothing will happen because this goal and this dream is so big I don't even know where to begin so that happens with me quite often um so it's just positive thinking, one foot in front of the other, and just really start to move towards the things that will help you to get there. So, for example, I have a really big dream of 
starting up my own business where, you know, I'm doing motivational speaking, more or less. So what I have done for myself is I have joined a public speaking club that meets once a week. And this club, um, they give speeches, you know, they speak in front of the public, they have competitions. It's a lot of public speaking. And I am not going to lie, I am horrified, okay? Completely, completely horrified. Public speaking scares me. <laughs> It really scares me, but when I actually start talking and when I actually see the lives that I'm impacting and the people that are coming up to me and saying, oh my God, you know, asking me questions and things like that, it's like all of that fear goes away and I start to see why I love doing it so much. You know, although I'm afraid and I'm terrified and I don't know who's thinking what and am I naked, you know, that I got my clothes on, like, you know? But then I just, it's set to my heart like, wow, you know, this is something that I'm really supposed to be doing. So that was my step forward. That was me moving forward to really get in position to make something happen that I want to happen. And I don't know what the future holds, you know. I may have a goal in my head and then something along the lines in the future happens completely different than how I envisioned it. But I have still bettered myself and made the right steps in the right direction to accomplish the vision that I have in my mind. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So really start to move forward and make the actions towards the goals that you wanna achieve. Little, little steps, you know, don't think so big, don't overwhelm yourself, just little, steps every day take a step into something new out of your comfort zone push yourself to do something different every single day that is the first step to believing in yourself the second is don't worry so much don't overthink so much take some time to relax your mind i am the queen you can ask anybody that knows me i am the queen of overthinking and worrying too much i don't know why i do it i have learned to release control to release worries and to just let it happen and to know that as long as i'm moving in the right direction as long as i'm doing something to better myself i'm okay whatever happens happens you know I just have to learn from it and keep moving I cannot worry about what is going to happen because at that point I'm stopping my own growth and I'm stopping myself from moving forward and really making something great happen that I have envisioned okay now um, I've been speaking for 13 minutes I don't know when this thing is gonna cut off uh, YouTube doesn't really give me too much time but I'm gonna try to speak as quickly as possible okay um, also Really listen to your heart. Um, believe that you are powerful and when it gets hard, just keep going. Listening to your heart can be hard sometimes, especially when you have you know a lot of different people around you, a lot of influences, a lot of social influences, you have family influences, you have work influences. Like there's so many different people who influence you, social media, TV, movies, you know, all kinds of things and that can cloud our judgment at times and we start to think that what we want is what everyone else wants. No, what you want is what you want. So you really have to listen to your heart and that takes time. That takes you really sitting down with yourself, yourself and saying, okay, what makes me happy? What really brings me joy apart from anyone else's opinions of how your life should go, okay? Um, believe that you are powerful because you are like if you believe that you can do something you can do it you can make it happen but if you believe that you can't do something then you're not going to make it happen so it's really all about your thoughts it really goes back to that positive thinking aspect so believe in yourself guys truly truly believe in yourself don't ever give up even when you feel that things are getting hard just keep going keep making that step Trust me, I know how hard it can get. I have sometimes given up on things that I just felt like I couldn't do. Like I just, I didn't believe in myself and I just gave it up. And I see now that I was my own 
worst enemy. I was the one holding myself back. I didn't believe in myself. I just didn't. And that was my fault, you know? But now I see that if I really want to make something happen, I have to get out there and really make it happen, not only with my actions, but with my thoughts and with my heart. Like, if it means something to me, I have to believe that I can make it happen. I have to not be so hard on myself and just continue to move forward in the right direction, and my God will take care of the rest because he knows that as long as I believe in him and I believe in myself, everything else will come into come into fruition. He will lay out literally everything, and if you don't believe in God, find something to believe in because you need something to help you out life is hard okay life is very very hard so if you don't want to pick a religion find something to believe in something you know whatever works for you whatever pushes you forward whatever helps you get through the days um find something so that is my video i really hope you guys learned something from this i really hope i hopes i helped someone out there um i'm going through the exact the same exact thing so you are not alone. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I will do my best to be more adamant in putting out videos. I promise, guys. But I love you so much for tuning in. I will see you soon. Have a great 2019. Bye.